My name is Eric Bubar. I'm the Associate Professor of Physics at Marymount University in Arlington, Virginia. So what I've been doing to help out with the uh, COVID-19 response is creating 3D printed PPE. So the design I'm using is something called a face shield. Uh, I have two designs, this one uh, and this one. These are actually not my designs. They are open source. They are created by other individuals. So this was created by a, a company named Prusa Research. They are very well known in the 3D printing industry for having very uh, reliable 3D printers. Uh, and then this is the Verkstan design made from a Swedish design firm. What is 3D printing? It's a way to do manufacturing. Uh, it's called additive manufacturing uh, in some circles. Uh, and what you do is you uh, take some plastic um, in the form of a filament and you extrude it through a very, very hot nozzle. That nozzle melts the plastic and it lays down a little bit of plastic in whatever shape you want. Uh, and as soon as the plastic hits the what we call the build plate, it kind of cools off and solidifies. Uh, then the little nozzle will go up just a little bit and draw another layer on top of that and build up whatever 3D shape you can imagine. So if you look very closely at this 3D print, you can see that there are different layers. Uh, so a 3D printer builds up whatever shape you want, layer by layer by layer. So altogether, this one takes probably about four hours to fabricate one, uh, whereas this one, the 3D Verkstan, uh, this 3D print takes about 40 minutes to print one of these little headbands. Uh, and then the shield itself is a very thick overhead transparency. Uh, that takes about maybe five minutes to hole punch, uh, three hole punch um, to get it to pop onto these little pegs. Uh, so this one takes maybe 45 minutes to create one. So currently the shields are being used by a variety of different healthcare professionals uh, in hospitals, in uh, community health centers, in uh, elder care facilities. People like that these 3D printed shields are, are sanitizable so they can reuse them. Um, they can clean them very easily. And regarding uh, changes that we might make to these face shields, we're always open to more feedback. And we've gotten some feedback that some providers would like a little bit more length on the bottom of it so that it kind of uh, interfaces with, with their sternum a little bit better so that it kind of blocks off any transition into the bottom. Uh, and some providers want um, uh, a visor over the top. So on this Prusa design, uh, you can see that this is open. This is meant to ventilate air so that it doesn't fog up, uh, but it does allow some uh, particulates can get down in there. So, so maybe some visor to cover that portion up. Um, those are the two big pieces of feedback that we've gotten that we're trying to come up with adaptations for and adjustments. Uh, but currently what we're trying to do is stick with designs that are recommended by the NIH Print Exchange. These are ones that have been approved for clinical use.